Well, I like coming home to days like this. Looks like uh, I got a little package. What could it be? Two Ball Executive by Chris Perkins. Uh, Chris, um, great idea on this release with the adjustable stem for draw length. Uh, you must have some old school friends in True Ball because back in the 90s, they did the same thing. They had this release uh, that had an adjustable stem. You just lock it down on the back there. Very similar to, I assume, what yours is going to be. Uh, when you bought that release, the old one, meaning this one, you got it also with the attachment that attached to a ball that attached to your string to make it portless. But go here to there. I'm going to give Chris's uh, new release a run and see how it works for me. I'm super excited. Adjustable stem, but also an adjustable click. Comes with three, comes with four Allen keys to set up the hinge perfectly. And I have followed the directions, and I believe I have it set up perfectly for myself. I had to move the click a little bit. Um, I like a little more lead time with my click, some don't. What I'm curious about, and although I would have preferred to buy this in a large, is how different it will be from my uh, HT release. What I, what I can say immediately is what I like about the difference is the heads are very similar, of course, except for I like the fact that HT right off the bat resets itself after every shot. Uh, the executive here is uh, you'll have to once it once it fires, you'll have to manually reset it. Very similar to the Stan Pearl or or any other any other hinge you buy on the market. This one here also has a little string, of course, resets itself. Mini Pro. Is the same as the executive, you have to reset it. Three peg holes are a nice option. That way you can personalize the feel of this release. Uh, for me, I chose the furthest one to the bottom. It seemed to pull the nicest for me. I've taken and basically superimposed executive over the HT. As you can see, um, my HT is a large. You can see there's a little bit of a size difference in them, but on the side here, very similar design in, in the grab and feel of the release. Even the angles on the, even angles for the fingers are almost identical. Except for this is the difference between a medium and a large. It's uh, considering your finger here, it's a match there. So of course one's a large, one's a medium. One feature I like is that Trueball have installed almost a safety guard here so that your adjustment screw for your release head won't come out unnecessarily and fall out, causing the release head to possibly fire with the string. So just a safety feature on this release that I thought was pretty smart thinking. You can see the adjustment on the head here. Righty tighty, so it's going to tighten. Lefty loosey. And I just dropped my own. I did notice a little something in regards to the executive release versus the HT. Check this out. I've owned this HE for a lot of years and it's uh, has many arrows through it. In fact, I would consider it worn out. And when this release fires, the design is such that they've beveled the back of the release so that when it fires, Fires. Funny silly thing. That the hook fits nicely in that little concave piece of the release. How that differs from the executive is that I've literally shot this thing, and it was out of a trainer, um, maybe fifty times, and I'm already seeing. Tiny bit scaling here or where, where the hook hits the back of the release. 
and it likely won't hurt the function of this, but what it will do is certainly affect the resale should you not like this release or want to try and resell it. Guys like buying our treatment that's pristine. And I can already see that the hook is going to wear out the back of the head of the release. Just food for thought. Well, I had to wait a few days before it got nice out, nice enough that I could shoot and uh, try out the True Ball Executive. So, as I mentioned before, there's patent pending on this release for its adjustable head, which is uh, up to a quarter inch draw. True Ball went with one medium size, just because they believe that the adjustable head allows for many fingers to fit the release the same, but with the adjustable head, it allows more room within the fingers, space, and your face. That's the way they designed this release. The adjustable head is for the fine tuning your draw length. So instead of twisting your cables or unwinding your string, you can just do it with a simple adjustment on the back of the release here. That's a very useful tool. This release also features an adjustable click and this will travel. Unlike other releases, this is all in one package, so you don't have to buy additional parts. You don't have to take the release apart. You can actually adjust the travel and the click just by some internal screws which they provide the allen keys for. There are two adjustable sears within this release which are easily micro dusted to find your perfect fit and feel. There's going to be nothing right about that shot. If you find this video informative, or if you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. In conclusion, True Ball Executive release by Chris Perkins, fellow Canadian, thank you. Um, feels really good in the hand. It's highly adjustable. Is it a lot different than some of my other hinges I have from True Ball? I wouldn't say so. It's adjustability is 100%, but landed this uh, release, cost me $400 plus shipping, which nowadays is ridiculous. So it's a little bit of a hit to own this release. I could see, or I can venture to guess, that they're going to change the back of this anodized red piece here because the hook itself is on the release, is crashing into the back of it, causing a burr, a little bit of damage, I would say. It's definitely taking the painting off, so I know that something's happening back there. So, you know, as far as resale value, if you were to sell this on any of the, the popular um, archery trade forms or selling forms, you might find that person or the purchaser isn't going to like that discoloration slash little bit of damage that, is, that occurs when the hook opens. So that would be my only suggestion to Tubal is to maybe look at coveting that out or making room for that for the hook as it opens to not hit such a square perpendicular side of the metal. So that's my recommendation. My recommendation. Test it a little bit. Shut up, squirrel! Oh. I say so a lot. I don't know why. I can't help myself.